All right, I wanted to do a little bit of a better video here. So this is some of the problem I've been having with my Artur Laser Master 3, the OLM3 laser head, which should look like this assembled. And I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this now and show you why I was having so many air assist problems, why I was getting overburn, charred edges that really shouldn't have been charring quite so badly. And I actually learned that I needed to turn the air assist down now or the project will move. And I was running full blast previously. Just the four screws that hold this plate on with your uh, height set, height setting for focus. We'll grab those off. And when you first get this, you should have had to put this on. And inside of here on the side, when you're looking at it, there's a hole right there. And this set screw, which you can see I didn't do a great job of cleaning it when I pulled it out, but it's been set in there so long I've got a lot of crud built up. And it's right, get you a little pointer here. It's right here on the side of your laser. And you can follow it by looking through the threads there. And you'll see a silver plug if it's in because it's all the way screwed in. And I'll put it back in and show you what I mean, which is why I missed it when I was assembling. But it was all the way in and it's very difficult it's really difficult to see what's in that hole when you're assembling. And yeah, I've still got some debris built up in there. I'll have to clean that out better. But you pull that out, and that'll actually allow your air assist, instead of flowing all the way down through your shield, because it has nowhere else to go, it'll funnel in through your actual nozzle. Hopefully that's a little bit easier to understand now.